Yo, what's going on? The big guy Ryback here, feeding time. Decided to change up the scenery a little bit. I'm outside, I got my pool behind me, the waterfall, so Jeffrey and Karen, that pool's making a little too much noise for you guys. Go fuck yourselves. It's a nice day out, beautiful Sunday. Got my wake up unlimited energy. Wake up! Green apple, which it's not green. There was not a green. They didn't have a natural coloring to do green yet, which I'm hoping because we can do blue now. They could do some other. They could do. They've been able to do pink and like a dark red. Um, and I believe they've, they've got some more with different fruits. They're able to do a green coloring. So the green apple will be going to green. So it's like a candy apple, but it's really green apple. It tastes like green apple. This is Chris Van Vliet's favorite flavor. I love it too. You got pink lemonade mango candy. Shut the fuck up with the plugs, big guy. Um, today, guys, we're doing Wendy's breakfast. DJ Dells has been telling me, Wendy's breakfast is where it's at. Wendy's breakfast, that's, that's a video that the people want to see. So here we are with Wendy's breakfast, guys. And what I got in front of me right here. This is my, my cheat meal. I'm just doing my cheat meal right in the morning here. And uh, I got a big leg workout. I gotta do cardio. I gotta come out here later, do the hot tub, cold tub, cool. Do a big leg workout. Do a bunch of work for, for kidney more nutrition. Some more uh, podcast stuff. Looks like Lindsay Lohan's gonna be doing the show. So that'll be a fun one. I got Kendra Lust coming up this week. Uh, we got Tyler Rex is actually, he's this, he just, I just interviewed, talked to him yesterday. Not interview, I talked to people. And um, so yeah, we got a lot of things going on. Lindsay will be a good good uh, addition to the show. This is, look at this. This is, this is the breakfast Baconator, I believe. Sausage, egg, bacon, cheese on a buttery croissant. I got some, uh, we got multiple things here. We're going to just dive right in. Oh, wow. a lot of birds out here. I hope one of them doesn't shit on me during this video. Those fuckers are smart. I love all animals. Those birds make me worry because they take little fucking beaks and they carry shit and drop it in my yard. And I sometimes think they drop these little fruit pieces and I'm always very concerned with Sophie and little guy. Never want them getting anything. Sophie doesn't come out without me on a leash, but little guy roams around out here. So... Mm. I can give you guys a tour of my house one of these days. Even though I really don't want Jeffrey and Karen knowing where, the, you know, what it looks like where I'm at at all times, but for everyone else. I know some people do. primarily vegetarian. I did it three months with no meat, and I've been doing meat once a week for one meal, essentially, for my Ryback TV cheat meal. And to throw a little balance in there, so it's uh, the vegetarian all the other days, eating the same thing pretty much every day, which is how I am when I eat, when I wasn't eating vegetarian, so. Mm. I got, I got another one of those, but I might save that for after to eat in peace. So it's just not me recording me eating the meals. I got a regular sausage. Shut the fuck up, dogs. Who want a video? Neighbors, dogs. I don't like the big guy doing Ryback TV. I'm trying to film a Ryback TV back here. When I got my house, they told me there was going to be a road behind me. This is all extra space I got. 
they were supposed to build another house next to this. When I bought this house, like a year and a half out, this was all desert. I go, what's the most amount of land you have in your developments? And because um, I knew the house that I wanted, I picked out everything, the model that I wanted. And they had this extra, I don't know how many square feet, it's, it's, it's a lot out here, especially for a Vegas house. They got my backyard over there. This is my side yard. And I got this for like, I just had to pay a little bit extra and I got all this land where I was able to do my pool. I got my big trampoline, punching bag over there. I got my tire, I got fire pit, all that. My hot tub's all the way on the other side with a cold tub over there. Some seating out by the patio. And uh, I'm gonna actually, my wrestling ring I'm gonna get, I'm either gonna put, I'll show you guys maybe after this, I'll move the camera where my big trampoline is and then maybe put the big trampoline on the backyard so the wrestling ring is kind of over and not directly right by my neighbors. We'll have to see. I don't know how that's gonna fly with the HOA. HOAs are a real bitch in Vegas. But I mean, if the ring's back here and I'm a wrestler, then it's like, what the fuck are you gonna do? Really? Karen, you're gonna fucking find me? Well, fucking Tom, Dick, and Harry over there has weeds growing out of their yard onto the street. Have you find them, bitch? All right, so this is a sausage, egg, and cheese, just a regular old, on the uh, muffin. The old muffin. Ah. Oh, I was gonna tell you though, when I got this, they were they told me there's gonna be a road behind me, lowered, and like my the wall would have been higher from the road. No one would be able to see back here. They lied to me, or they switched plans up the city, and they just so I got one, two, three, and another one that's partially four houses behind my house. My slide here that like I can't go down that. Like if I'm out here swimming or anything. It's just like, you literally are just looking in your neighbor's backyard. It's the only thing I don't like. But, when I find out, I doesn't even go down the slide. I just fucking like, so 300 pounds trying to go down the slide. It's not the same as like when you're a little kid. You're a hot chick though and you want your kids to come play here. You got a fucking trampoline too. Hit me up. All right. I also got, because I saw Wendy's had an addition, I got two of these. I'm only gonna eat one on air. These fried, potato fries. Seasoned, they smell absolutely unreal. They also, they gave me ketchup. They gave me a buttermilk ranch with these. I'll try a ranch with these, we'll see. Mm. Me opening up the damn condiments with my Neanderthal fucking gorilla hands. Oh, ah, 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 ah. Ah. Okay. Any more information? You guys can make sure you turn on your fucking notifications, please. YouTube. 
what we got 220,000 subscribers it's like YouTube shows my videos to maybe like 5,000 people maybe a little more than that I don't know why YouTube why they did that to me thought everyone was having a good time maybe because I cuss too much you think that could be it leave me ideas in the comments what's going on then I know people are gonna like don't cut like you gotta cuss it's who you are but maybe I just won't cuss in every video. I don't know. I don't know the... It's fun. I like just having fun and just being me. But... Maybe in every video we'll just start titling it. No cussing. But... They're just coming up with... Like, effing Jack. Oh, it's not the same. I gotta say, these are really good. This is so unhealthy. If you guys are fat pieces of shit, don't eat this. I, I, I work out really hard. I'm not being judgmental, and I say fat pieces of shit. He's like, I'm a fat piece of shit eating this right now. It's just the way it is, guys. It's 2020, you can't say that. You can say whatever the fuck I want, guys. Literally, and I don't give a fuck what you think. But I love you guys. But I'm just like, stop being a little bitches. I identify as being in really, really good shape. No, you're fucking fat, fucking Jeff. Shut the fuck up. No, I, I identify, you know, I identify as a fitness model. Karen, you're 385 pounds. Shut the fuck up. Just accept it. Be happy with it. Quit trying to fucking judge the fucking Jeff. Done. And I joke around, guys. If you're not happy with yourself, do the work. Set a goal. We all have, we're all are capable of doing whatever we put our minds to. Unless, and I've used this example in the past, your little little Marty Messiah, and he's born without uh, two arms, and he wants to be the world's greatest pitcher. Well, I'm sorry, Marty. It's not going to fucking happen. But you know what? Maybe you could be part of the Padres organization and you could be a, uh, you, you could fucking be there for moral support for the players. I don't know. You don't have any arms. It's limited. I almost didn't have a leg with my ankle injury. They almost fucking cut my leg off. I'm sensitive to this shit, but I also would have just made the most of it. I would have been one on, one leg big guy. Fucking put myself around on the crutches, fucking motivating people behind the scenes of wrestling shows. Or maybe I'd be the best one leg fucking commentator in the history of the business. I don't know. I would have found something, excuse me, something else. Because the leg is gone. If you don't got the arms, you can't be a pitcher. So don't, let's not be dumb as fuck about it either, guys, okay? But seriously, you can do whatever you want. We've heard it said time and time again by a lot of successful people. I've done it time and time again with multiple things. Sometimes it takes years and it takes patience. But if you don't have arms, don't want, just don't be a pitcher. That's, I guess, what the message is. Don't think you want to be a, a pitcher in the major leagues. Soccer. You can fucking you can fucking kill it in soccer though, Marty. Okay. I feel like a lot of positive people don't always give you a tea straight. They're like, you can do anything you want to do in life if you set your mind to it. Very true. <clears throat> but you gotta give the one arm the, the fucking baseball example, I feel like. To really be like, you know what? I get it. That makes sense. Within reason, but go for it. Yeah, that's it. That's the message we're going home with. All right, guys, shut the fuck up and leave the review, right? Okay. This Wendy's breakfast was really good. It was fantastic. The Baconator was my, the Baconator breakfast, breakfast sandwich was my favorite thing that I had. Um, the sausage, egg and cheese deal was really good. Those fries. I got one more round to do, uh, being, being inside with the dogs. It was my wake up with limited energy. Feed me more nutrition, feed me more and um, I'm giving this breakfast five stars. Beautiful weather outside here in Vegas. The waterfall, the noise of the birds chirping. They got the fire pit over there, the wood, the little raft in the background, the cool, calm, and collected water. My neighbors looking out the window watching me do this Ryback TV food review like a big piece of shit. It's been a hell of a morning so far, guys. Five stars, two thumbs up for this breakfast. Thank you guys very much for watching. I'm the big guy, Ryback. You've just watched Feeding Time, bitches. Feed.
me more. Yo, thank you guys for watching Ryback TV. If you could check out my Shooting Blanks Wrestling Report every Monday on all podcast platforms, Conversation with the Big Guy Ryback every Thursday morning on all podcast platforms, and Feed Me More Nutrition, my personal supplement line, available on feedmemore.com and Amazon. Save 10% with discount code YouTube10 and save stupid. Why couldn't you? Almost had it. I almost had the whole video done in one take. Ah. <sighs> New customers, you can save 20% with discount code NEWCUSTOMER on feedmemore.com. Get hungry, stay hungry, feed me more.